So right here, what you have is a time, a timeline right here. And uh, here's at the Big Bang, all right? And so what happens is time began here, one-dimensional time, and it expanded, and here's your wave, and as it expands towards the present, it creates this positive and negative charge and the positive charge creates this po these particles which seem to be um, you know, popping from nowhere but in reality what is going on you have the motion the motion of the wave what it is, let me put it this way so you can see better, understand it better. Pretend that time right here is zero. Or here's the line, right? Zero. And what happens is, as the wave goes on top of zero and underneath the negative and over and down, it creates a positive charge every time it comes up and it creates a negative charge every time it comes down so what, what uh, it gives the illusion of particles popping into existence out of nowhere above the zero point energy the zero line here so they pop into existence every time there's a positive charge right here all right, but what really is going on is here you, you have a uh, without the presence of a 2D a 2D wave here. All right, right inside this is a 2D wave without the activity moving underneath and above zero point, you cannot have a positive charge or a negative charge down here right so it gives the illusion of time creating popping out of nowhere particles um, the, you have to account for the presence of this wave which is two-dimensional so let's the what causes uh, the negative field and a positive field is this you have gravity the force of gravity going pulling down the wave and this force the gravity right here okay it has a negative effect it pulls down and the the positive charge up here the positive charge up here is because the ex expansion so you have two forces fighting each other you have expansion of the big bang the expansion here you have the expansion of uh, the big bang here and fighting against the, the the gravitational force right here so that creates the this wave going down negative field in a positive field these two forces the expansion force and the gravitational force they're fighting each other so in reality what you would really have is a a wave a, a two-dimensional wave let's say a straight wave here a two-dimensional wave and then when you because of the gravity it brings it down and then because of the expansion of the Big Bang of the force it brings it back up so they're fighting these two forces of bringing causing the wave to move and create this form all right otherwise it would be just a a two-dimensional wave
plane, a geometrical plane. All right. And so what you have is within the nu within the nucleus of the wave. It's, it moves in different directions. and creates a two-dimensional form. All right. This is a two-dimensional field of energy. And in reality, another way of looking at it is like this. It's like if you dropped a rock into a bucket of water the nucleus of the wave the centerpiece ripples out and creates these waves the the wave itself the structure of the wave creates forms it, and it all begins from the center, right here. And it branches out. This is, right here, this one will create a positive forward motion. In other words, uh, and, uh, going out, outward. Alright? Yeah, uh, these waves are going out, let's say. The force is going out in this wave. And then it's it, it, all all particles or all waves, they work together with a with a pair. In other words, like a handshake. This one goes out. It's outwards, out. And that creates a positive charge. And then it, and it works with another when it with another uh, wave right here. And this one pulls in. All right, so you have this wave, these two forces um, um, working together, these two waves creating a neutral state, a balance, a conservation of energy. You have a positive here, you have a positive going out from the center, from the center out. And then within the same wave, you have another wave working with it, and it has a negative effect. This one goes out, and then you have, it's working with a negative one, and the negative goes in. So you have this, these ripples, let's say, let's pretend you could picture it. These ripples are going out. So these waves are coming out, and then and within the same wave, it's working with another wave to keep it uh, keep the energy conserved, so you know no no uh, no wasted energy, it keeps it balanced, a neutral state. The conservation of energy it is a positive wave working with a negative wave so this one is going out and then you have another wave working in working in pairs and then so you have a negative and a positive wave working together to create a neutral state a balanced state and that's why waves energy is considered um, people describe it as being eternal because what came first, a negative or the positive? The zero point neutral state cannot exist without waves. The waves, you, you have to account for the presence. <coughs> you have to account for the presence of one dimensional waves in order to create the presence of a uh, neutral state, a zero point energy. That's concerned. In other words, uh, it, it recycles itself. 
it keeps itself balanced within its own uh, environment. But one thing that a lot of people don't account for is for the structure of the wave itself as it comes out it is a one-dimensional wave or two I'm sorry it's a two-dimensional wave so without the activity or well, without the presence of a two-dimensional wave moving out you cannot create a neutral zero point you cannot create in other words if you have a positive and a negative if you have a positive wave and a negative wave if you have a um, for example if you have a positive wave going that way and a negative wave going this way okay these two waves will cancel each other out and create a zero point a zero point it's called zero point energy zero point energy alright but you cannot have a zero point energy you cannot have this zero point energy without the presence the pre-existence of two dimensional waves you see you cannot have zero point energy without two dimensional waves neutralizing each other and creating a zero point in the first place you have to account for the presence of dimensions at all times there you have it